cardiac circle is defined as the sequence of coordinated events taking place in the heart during each heartbeat. Each heartbeat consists of two major periods called the systole and the diastole. Now, during systole, the heart contracts and pumps the blood through the arteries. During diastole, the heart relaxes and the blood is filled in the heart. The events of cardiac circle are classified into two, the atrial events and the ventricular events. Now, when the heart beats at the normal rate of 72 beats per minute, the duration of each cardiac circle is about 0.8 seconds. The atrial events are divided into two divisions, which are atrial systole and the atrial diastole. The ventricular events are divided into two divisions, the ventricular systole and the ventricular diastole. Now, in clinical practice, the term systole refers to ventricular systole and diastole refers to ventricular diastole. Now, ventricular systole is divided into two subdivisions and ventricular diastole is divided into five subdivisions. Ventricular systole consists of isometric contraction and the ejection period. The ventricular diastole consists of protodiastole, isometric relaxation, rapid filling, slow filling, and the last rapid filling. Now, let us take them one after the other. Now, let us describe the atrial events. Now, the first one is the atrial systole. Now, atrial systole is also known as the last rapid filling phase. It is usually considered as the last phase of ventricular diastole. Its duration is 0.11 seconds. Now, during this period, only a small amount of blood is forced from the atria into the ventricles. And the atrial systole is not essential for the maintenance of circulation. After the atrial systole, the atrial diastole starts. Now, simultaneously, ventricular systole also starts. Now, atrial diastole lasts for about 0.7 seconds. This long atrial diastole is necessary because this is the period during which atrial filling takes place. Now, let us describe the events that occur in the ventricles during the cardiac circle. Number one is the isometric contraction period. Now, isometric contraction period in cardiac circle is the first phase of ventricular systole. It usually lasts for a period of 0.05 seconds. Isometric contraction is the type of muscular contraction that is characterized by increase in tension without any change in the length of muscle fibers. Isometric contraction of ventricular muscles is also called the isovolumetric contraction. Now, immediately after atrial systole, the atrioventricular valves are closed due to the increase in ventricular pressure. The semilunar valves are also closed. Now, ventricles contract as closed cavities in such a way that there is no change in the volume of ventricular chambers or in the length of muscle fibers. Only the tension increases in ventricular musculature. Now, because of increased tension in ventricular musculature during isometric contraction, the pressure increases sharply inside the ventricles. Now, closure of the atrioventricular valves at the beginning of this phase usually produces the first heart sound. Now, the next phase is the ejection period. Due to the opening of semilunar valves and the isotonic contraction of ventricles, the blood is ejected out of both the ventricles. Hence, this period is called the ejection period. Now, ejection period is of two stages. We have the first stage or the rapid ejection period. Now, the first stage usually starts immediately after the opening of the semilunar valves. And during this stage, a large amount of blood is rapidly ejected from both the ventricles. The second stage is the slow ejection period. During this period, the blood is ejected slowly with much less force. Now, the ventricles are not emptied at the end of ejection period and some amount of blood remains in each ventricles. The amount of blood remaining in the ventricles at the end of ejection period is called the end systolic volume. Also, the fractions or the portion of end diastolic volume that is ejected out by each ventricle per beat is referred to as the ejection fraction. Now, the next phase is the protodiastole. 
Now, protodiastole is the first stage of ventricular diastole. Now, due to the ejection of blood, the pressure in aorta and pulmonary artery increases and the pressure in the ventricles drop. When intraventricular pressure becomes less than the pressure in aorta and the pulmonary artery, the semilunar valves close. The atrioventricular valves are already closed, so no other change occurs in the heart during this period. Thus, the protodiastole indicates only the end of systole and the beginning of diastole. Now, the closure of the semilunar valves during this phase usually produces the second heart sound. Now, the next phase is the isometric relaxation period. Now, isometric relaxation is a type of muscular relaxation characterized by decreasing tension without any change in the length of muscle fibers. The isometric relaxation of the ventricular muscle is also called the isometric relaxation. Now, during isometric relaxation period, once again all the valves of the heart are closed. Now, both the ventricles relax as closed cavities without any change in volume or length of the muscle fiber. The intraventricular pressure decreases during this period. The next phase is rapid filling phase. When the atrioventricular valves are opened, there is a sudden rush of blood from the atria into the ventricles. So this period is called the first rapid filling period. The ventricles also relax isotonically. Now about 70% of filling takes place during this phase. Now the rushing of blood into the ventricles during this phase causes the production of the third heart sound. Now, after the sudden rush of blood, the ventricular filling becomes slow. Now, it is also called the slow filling. Now, about 20% of filling occurs in this phase. The last one is the last rapid filling phase. The last rapid filling phase occurs because of atrial systole. After slow filling period, the atria contract and push a small amount of blood into the ventricles. Now, about 10% of ventricular filling takes place during this period. The flow of additional amount of blood into the ventricles due to the atrial systole is called the atrial cake. Now, the end diastolic volume is the amount of blood remaining in each ventricle at the end of diastole.